Good morning everybody, welcome to another video. I'm in Italy, I'm at my parents' place. You're gonna spend the day with us. I am i don't really have any special plans for today, but I still thought it would be interesting to just show you what slow countryside life is like in Le Marche, which is the region where my parents live, in the middle of, of the countryside. So yeah, there you go. We're gonna go on a walk now with my mum. It's relatively early in the morning, it's around eight o'clock, but for her, it's actually a little bit late to go on a walk because it gets hot very, very early over here. And today it's forecasted to reach 38 degrees. So yeah, it's gonna be, it's gonna be a tough day, shall we say. But yeah, let's, let's get going. So I was asking my mum what type of fauna is around here, what animals she sees. Istrici, ha visto, caprioli, un cinghiale che si è arrivato fino vicino casa e invece vicino casa per esempio di eh, Graziella, tre lupi, tre lupi, tre lupi, tre scoiattoli che non c'erano prima, anche quelli. Eh, no, scoiattoli non l'ho mai visti. Sì, invece ce ne sono arrivati. <ride> e poi le volpi, le volpi ci sono sempre state invece i caprioli pure sono bellissimi e corrono nei campi no? la mattina qui ce n'erano cinque che si rincorrevano e giocavano insomma piccolini Molto carini bene. Cos'è la parte che ti piace di più del vivere in campagna? La possibilità di coltivare fiori, soprattutto mi riescono molto meglio i fiori riguardo l'orto, anche se ho fatto molti tentativi, sì. ma questo non dipende solo da me, ma dipende anche dal tipo di terra, il senso di libertà che si, eh, che si sente la possibilità ecco di alzarsi la mattina presto e andare giù nel verde quindi lo stare in natura sì 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 molto l'aria buona pulita e invece facciamo la domanda opposta qual è secondo te uno dei difetti una delle cose che della campagna. della campagna che non apprezzi il fatto della scomodità che se vuoi andare a un cinema a un teatro a un concerto eh, oppure anche a comprare da mangiare eh, devi prendere la macchina e non ce l'hai a portata di mano certo. insomma l'effetto della campagna in estate per esempio le zanzare <ride> quello sono un gran difetto e per chi voglia sperimentare un pochino il countryside magari sta pensando di provare la vita campagnola hai nulla da dire a loro sì provate ci sono tante eh, fattorie che richiedono per esempio chi vuole veramente sperimentare una vita campagnola ci sono delle fattorie che chiedono personale no o qui per... in Italia sì sì anche qui scherzi per le mucche per le pecore guardare oppure per raccogliere l'uva per no tutte queste sì. cose quindi ecco quello magari è un approccio più eh... <ride> Beh, quello è interessante, più, più non interessante lo sapevo. interessante per chi vuole provare la vita in campagna. So this is River Misa. It's usually, yeah, it's quite small today. Usually in spring, the water is much higher and it's, yeah, it's a proper full river. Quando eravamo piccoli, no, venivamo, il fiume era molto più ricco di acque, c'erano i sassolini tutto ben messo e venivamo con il carro, con i buoi, eh, io, i miei genitori, le mie zie, così, con la biancheria, mh, eh, le lenzuola, per esempio, che deve, dovevano essere o sciacquate eh, e poi sbiancate al sole. Quindi come facevano? Le sciacquavano oppure lo facevano dopo e poi le stendevano, che era pulito naturalmente, le stendevano su nella ghiaia del fiume e il sole le sbiancava e, e ci quindi... facevate una giornata fuori eh beh sì e noi bambini insomma invece facevamo il bagno nel, <ride> nel fiume che bello era molto bello che anni, di che anni parliamo? Eh, parliamo degli anni fra gli anni 50 e 60, 60.
So you see these peas uh, alongside the road. So they are at regular intervals and apparently they are for the game of Ruzzola, which is a really funny looking game where you essentially you throw a form of cheese <laughs> you roll up a rope around the cheese and then you kind of like let it roll forward qui in questa strada si fanno anche i campionati italiani di ruzzola quindi ci sono le squadre che vengono da fuori Ma tu pensa. insieme alle squadre locali e fanno <ride> poi vanno a mangiare dopo e certo <ride> So here we are, my mom has just baked a vegan crostata, <laughs> which is one of her favorite recipes. Da dove viene la ricetta? Cucina botanica. It comes from this book from Carlotta Perego, Cucina Botanica. She's a wonderful Italian vegan cook and influencer, and she has this amazing recipe for uh, crostatine, which is basically essentially a um, tart. All right, it's lunchtime. Uh, I'm in charge of lunch. I really love cooking, so I'm really not fussed about it. We've got a couple of bits that my mum has already pre-cooked, which I'm going to show you in a second. But the plan is really just to make a pasta dish. Oh, well, what's new there? And um, I've got some beautiful peas that my mum has sautéed with some onion. It smells delicious. We've got some fresh cherry tomatoes as well so um, what i'm thinking we've got some we've got some vegan cream so it would be nice to combine them together we don't have a protein to add to it i think we've got some tofu in the fridge we might just pan fry it and serve it as a side but that's really what we've got let's get cracking also i really hope you don't mind the attire it's boiling and i'm just in my uh, sports bra and gym gym shorts it's the best I can do right now, so just, just, just bear with me. So my mum has been cultivating, or trying to cultivate some courgettes, and this is the only one that the plant has yielded. Literally. Oh, it's so cute. And we're gonna try it today. This is my mum's secret stash of pasta there's a ton of it and it's not super tidy but you know we don't we don't complain let's see what we can choose so we went for calamarata it's a wonderful wonderful type of pasta So do you know what's really cool about this place is that it just exists in a time and a space of its own. Like everything is so slow, like not much happens. I left home when I was 18 years old and every time I came back, whether it was for summer or Christmas, I don't know, like things tend to kind of stay the same. Um, it's quite comforting coming back and finding things unchanged. But equally, you know, things have changed massively around here lately. Like everything that my parents have been doing to the house and all of the changes that have happened around us as well. It's, um, I guess it's a mix, isn't it? 
but yeah, I just like it that coming coming here, middle of nowhere in the countryside, there's not a huge amount to do. So for instance, today, I've just spent a lot of time actually just sat down in, in the shade or indoors, just chatting to my family, editing actually videos. Yeah, just just really relaxing and slowing down and there is something really special I think about learning to slow down and coming from London, coming from a very fast-paced environment we're often confronted with that anxiety that comes with you know boredom, slowing down, it's just something I'm absolutely not used to. And there's a lot of benefits that come out of slowing down and boredom from I guess resting is obviously the obvious one but also like finding creativity again because it's from boredom that really exciting cool ideas stem from so I don't know I just I just really like it would I stay here long term would I be able to yeah spend my everyday here I'm not sure probably probably not thinking about the long term is always a bit different but I find this very healing and um, yeah it's, it's just been very a very simple chilled day and I just want to show you the reality of it you know like th this afternoon it's just been very sleepy and quiet my parents have taken a nap I just uh, I had a lot of downtime and so did Ruben and everybody it, it's it is what it is and there's something really beautiful in it so now actually what we're going to be doing is in the next couple of hours we will be heading to the beach we're going to have a kind of like a night picnic have a dip in the sea uh, it's really lovely late in the evening when the water is is i guess a little bit warmer than usual i'm sorry if you hear this like buzzing sound in the background it's ruben flying a drone just bear with me but yeah when the water is is nice and warm everybody is like about to go home or have gone home already so it's quite quiet and um and now you've got the beach to yourself can you hear it? So yeah, I'm just really excited about it. I've not had a beach picnic in a while and I thought that this would be the perfect opportunity. We're actually leaving back to London tomorrow afternoon. So this is, yeah, our last full day over here and yeah, just making the most out of it. Ciao amore. Hi. Hello. What are you up to? Making some sangria. Sangria Portuguese, uh, okay. which is a real sang sangria, no isn't it? Sangria. There's no other sangria. Uh, What's in today's recipe? Apple, oranges, strawberries, some and berries. Fruit, some berries that we still have to uh, get. Sugar, some cinnamon, some min mint, and then Sprite yeah, and wine. Yay! There is no alcohol-free one for me. I will just have a sip. anywhere though I wanted to show you my dad's laboratorio his secret man cave so this is where he likes to sculpt that's his new pastime I guess since he retired you will see a few sculptures all around the garden I will show you in a second but yeah I thought it would be very interesting to show you here's the lab we've got Ruben chilling over here it's so nice and cool this is where he creates, this is where he gets inspired. Look at these beautiful windows. These are, in his words, his picture windows. He specifically designed them so that, yeah, they could look like framed artwork. And it's just, it's quite incredible. Look at that. Can we show them the biggest inspiration of your dad, himself? Yep, yep. <laughs> it's a very interesting choice of picture. <laughs> Let me show you some bits that he's done. So this is a bust of my late uncle, Giglio. And these are other pieces. You will notice there's a lot of, let's say, there's a celebration of the female body all around. This is 
quite a special place, isn't it? And it's the only place in the house with the aircon. Oh my days. <laughs> Here we are, ready for our little picnic. My dad is checking the state of the water. He's saying that it's very cold. There's a strong current, but you know, we're gonna give it a try. I'm gonna give it a try. This is our little setup. Lovely. My sister's over here. It's the whole family. So the water is not great. It could be a lot better. And the weather just suddenly got really weird too. What the hell? Where's the sun gone? But, you know, that's not gonna deter us from having a great time. Babbo? <laughs> gonna set everything up now. Ruben made this amazing sangria. We've got insalata di riso. Sangria, tomato salad. We've got some fresh melon. We've got it all. It's a really lovely spread. Sei divertita mamma? Did you have fun? Sì, sono intanto l'aria più buona, più dolce. It was such a nice relaxing evening. Ruben. Really happy we did it. We were able to cool down a little bit. The food was great. The company was great. <laughs> 